Battle for Bikini Bottom is a fantastic speed game, not only because of its diverse tricks and fluid movement, but also how these things can be applied to achieve numerous goals in a variety of ways. And today I'm going to teach you guys all about these goals, or rather, speedrun categories. A category in speedrunning is defined as a rule set or way to speedrun the game. When the run starts and ends, which objectives you need to complete, other gameplay restrictions, submission guidelines, so forth. The most recognizable examples are any percent and 100 percent. So let's first discuss those two in context of Battle for Bikini Bottom. In an any percent speed run, the objective is to complete the game as quickly as possible with no gameplay restrictions. The purpose of this run is to demonstrate how quickly the game can be beaten, simple as that. Any percent is the most popular category in BFBB, currently with 257 players on the leaderboard. It's historically the most competitive and optimized of all the categories as well. However, it's also the easiest to get into due to all the guides and resources centralized around it, along with many experienced players who can help you learn. Any percent is my personal favorite category. It balances trick diversity with good movement and low downtime for its length. It's the most balanced category and I believe it has something for everyone who runs the game. Up next is 100%. Here the requirement is to beat the game with 100 golden spatulas. And no, opening the theater is not required as there are no objectives inside the theater to collect. It's just an empty room with concept art on the screen. This run's purpose is to collect all golden spatulas in the menu as quickly as possible. I mention the menu because there's a ban glitch in 100% that allows you to buy the same spatula from Mr. Krabs more than once, which cannot be used to replace other spatulas in the menu to make 100. You need every unique spatula in the game to finish. This category isn't nearly as popular as any percent, currently with 27 runners on the boards. It's been ran occasionally in the past, but it really didn't get too much attention and optimization until the latter half of 2017. In fact, it didn't even have a concrete route until late 2016. Because of this, along with many tricks you have to learn in collecting every golden spatula in the game, this is the least accessible category in the game. New players have a hard time getting into this one. However, its skill ceiling is arguably as high as any percents, so it'll keep you grinding for a while to get the time you want. Not to mention how long you have to play with making minimal mistakes from going for a very optimized time of this run, as it's the longest category by far. It also has the greatest trick diversity out of all the categories, and ties for best movement with another category I'll cover later. Its downfall, however, is its downtime. Notoriously, there's a 10 to 13 minute segment in this run with nothing but grinding shiny objects. This turns a lot of new people away from learning it, but it's still one of the most impressive categories on the boards. In my opinion, it's just as impressive as any percent. Now let's talk about 84 spatulas. This category requires all spatulas in the menu except for those from trading Patrick's socks and buying from Mr. Krabs. So you subtract 8 spatulas from Patrick and 8 spatulas from Krabs out of the 100 to get 84. Pretty simple. It's currently the least popular category on the main boards with only 15 runners, but I can see that changing in the future. Some people refer to this category as extended any percent, discount 100%, or 100% without grinding. But in my opinion, it holds up as its own thing. At least recently, with new discoveries, 84 spatulas has diverged a lot from any percent and 100% routing to cut out some things and become its own kind of run. It has decent accessibility because you do need to learn how to get all the spatulas with speed strats, but you don't need to learn how to get any of the socks. And there are 80 of those, so big difference. Its skill ceiling is pretty high, but not as high as any percents or 100% in my opinion. 100 just has so many tricks you need to learn, and any percent has some skips that aren't applicable in 84 because they skip a lot of spatulas that are required in this category. I think the trick diversity and movement in this category are on par with any percents though. Its downtime is somewhere between that of any percent and 100%, which makes a nice change of pace for anyone playing either of those categories without being too drastic. I personally like the length of this category a lot as well. It's not too long and not too short. And finally we have NG+, probably the strangest on this list. NG+, is a universal speedrunning term used to describe a mode in which a player is invited to replay the game a second time, using unlockables they didn't have at the start of the first playthrough. Because BFBB doesn't have an official NG+, mode, we decided to make our own. New Game Plus has the same rule set and objectives as any percent. However, in this mode, you're allowed to use in-game codes to unlock the Cruise Bubble and Bubble Ball at the start of the run. This not only allows the player to use cruise boosting for the entire duration of the speedrun, but also skip both Robo Sandy and Robo Patrick, without having to backtrack for either of them. This is because the cruise bubble and bubble ball have already been unlocked, so the remaining utility of the boss fights is just being slow spatulas. So you probably already guessed that this category has the highest activity level in the game, or rather the least amount of downtime. No boss fights, constant cruise boost movement, it's lightning fast. It's tied with 100% for best movement in my opinion as well. Both categories have tons of fast and flashy movement, but NG Plus movement is more constant with fewer interruptions. In my opinion, that doesn't make it necessarily better than 100's movement though. That's more of a downtime thing. The fast movement options available throughout the duration of the category and its minimal completion requirements give it the shortest runtime out of all the categories, typically around 8-9 to nine minutes faster than any percent. 
The accessibility of this category is very high as well, as it's just any percent with more movement options and fewer restrictions at its core, so new players don't have much trouble learning it. However, having the cruise boost all the time is kinda rough for new people. That's why, in my opinion, it's less accessible than any percent. A lot of fast-paced cruise boost movement isn't intuitive for new people. The two things hurting this category, however, are trick diversity and skill ceiling. Due to having cruise boosting movement as an option for the entire run, a lot of unique tricks are obsolete to this tech, meaning this run has a lot more running around and jumping up stuff than performing setup based tricks. This hurts the skill ceiling because there are far fewer things to improve on in NG Plus compared to other main categories except for movement. In this one, your time is chiefly determined on your quality of movement, rather than your consistency with tricks and movement combined. That said, it's still a very fun category and the second most popular with 36 runners. This might also be attributed to its high accessibility. It's not a lot compared to the giant that any percent is in terms of number of players, but it's still not bad compared to the others. I took the time to make these charts to compare categories, strong suits, and weaknesses. This can help you decide which category you might take the greatest interest in, whether it be running or just watching. Accessibility refers to how easily you can pick up and learn the run. Skill ceiling refers to the amount of time and dedication it takes to optimize the run. Trick diversity refers to how many unique tricks the category requires to learn or master. Movement refers to how fast and flashy a movement is showed throughout the run. And activity refers to how much downtime you experience in the run. A high number of activity means there's low downtime compared to the other categories. So which category is right for you? Any percent boasting high yet balanced qualities across the board? How about 100% for bursts of highly technical and impressive gameplay with a lot of downtime mixed in? 84 spatulas for slightly less downtime and slightly less technicality? Striking a pacing balance between any percent and 100%? Or NG plus for high speeds and constant activity but a lot of the same stuff? As a spectator or runner, it's up to you. Let me know in the comment section which one you think you'd find most entertaining to run or watch based on this information, and I'll link my own runs of these categories in the description to see for yourself. If you want to check out the rule sets and leaderboards for these categories, I'll link it in the description as well, or you can just go to speedrun.com bfbb. Hope this cleared a lot of things up for various categories in this game. If you like this video, let me know. I'd consider making a part 2 covering the miscellaneous categories on the board if you guys would be interested in that. But that's all for now. Subscribe for more BFBB and speedrunning content, and I'll see you next time.